here's the new project. We're going to take the 12 by 6 by 6 utility camper, utility trailer, and turn it into a camper. The first step to building a camper as we head out into the sunlight is to go camping and discover what you want. So I've done a lot of camping. I've built several campers. I've built them out of vans, service trucks, built one out of a small bus, and I've owned two RVs, three RVs, and I've just, I never, never used the, uh, I got tired of dealing with the, the gray, gray tank, the black tank, so I've decided I don't want those anymore. I'm just going to build a camper out of something like this. So this is a 12 by 12 feet deep, six feet wide, six feet high. I can walk and stand up in it and move around. It needs windows. It needs windows and ventilation. That's going to be step one. Put a uh, 12 volt fantastic fan on top that's going to be it no air conditioner I'm, i've decided i don't need air conditioner i'm going to put a window there or wherever i decide my bed head's going to be when i'm sleeping i want to be able to look out wherever i'm sitting i want a window where i'm going to be looking out and another window in the door so i'm going to order three windows one for each side and one for the door then a good camper has to be able to lock from the inside. So, I've already got this. And it's the right width for this door. It goes right there. Like that. And the shower. I'll show you what that, you'll see what that's going to be. The shower is just a um, laundry tub. I want to get the spare tire out, so I'm going to get a mount for the spare tire to go out on one side. And then to balance that on the other side, I'll have a mount for a water can, water tank. So we'll have an exterior water container and probably a propane tank here. Very simple. I like propane. I like to cook with it. So that's it. Solar panels for the top. You know. Shirt needs a good washing. It's capable of hauling a motorcycle. If I ever want to get a motorcycle. It's a toy hauler. Or a four-wheeler. It's not. There's not an overwhelming amount of space in it. Um, but I don't hit my head. I have, you know, a few inches of clearance. I think it's maybe six feet in the middle. I'm five ten about. There are a few little cracks in the trailer that have been just sealed up with duct tape. I believe this stuff is just um, fiberglass. That may be just ABS, plastic. These are all powder coat steel. So planning. That's what this video is all about. How are we going to plan this? camper and then we're going to build it so planning inventory what we have ordering what we need and that's what this video is all about and then the excitement starts we start building it how are you going to do a shower Andy well you'll see it's going to be very simple how are you going to deal with hot water well You'll see that too. 
It's not going to be a hot water heater, but we always have the sun. So, okay, so if you want to do something like this, you know, I was going to build a teardrop because I have this, this trailer here too. Get off the subject. This is much smaller. So this would have been a teardrop camper. And it's, I think, five by eight. And it's just not big enough. Maybe five by nine. It's just not enough. I mean, you can't do anything. You can't stand up in it. This is the answer right here. It's a little heavier, a little bulkier, a little a few more miles to the gallon, you know, gas. But any half ton tr pickup truck will tow it. I'll be towing it with an SUV right there. You see that Sequoia. So that's another consideration when planning your camper. How much size do you need? How many people do you have? Um, what amenities do you need? But the first step is to go camping. Figure out what you want. How, how comfortable do you need to be? If, if, you, if you need to be, you know, have a shower every day or every other day, um, you know, there's other ways to stay clean besides taking a five gallon shower every day. So how are you going to store things? So I have this. I'll just put all these measurements on a piece of graph paper. You know, I have a generator. Some of this stuff can ride in the SUV. I have, you know, a tackle box, chairs, there's a small propane tank, here's some uh, things that I've been saving, here's my, here's my cook stove, you know. Here's the battery, Vitamin. That'll be part of the video. Um, flooring. This. There's another storage thing that's going to go in there. So I need to put all these measurements together. Totes. You know, what kind of, how, much, how many totes do you have? What do you want to use? So, and I'll show you the other. Here's the Sequoia. This will this will be what tows it. So, go camping. What amenities do you need? What's important to you? How long are you going to be gone? Are you going to live in this full time? What kind of occupation do you have? What do you need? Um, what do you have to put in there? Um, are you a cook? Are you going to eat in restaurants? Discover what you need. Where are you going? Is it going to be cold? Is it going to be hot? Are you going to need lots of water? Do you need to take long baths every day? For me, I, I go as simple as I can. The gym membership works great. I mean, if you need a long shower every day, get in the car, and the SUV, and go to the, go to the gym. But for me, simple. I like to be nimble. I like to go in places where other people can't go. Set up for a week, two weeks, three weeks at a time in one spot. Get the tarp out, you know. Uh, live outdoors. Um, so the camper pretty much just holds all the camping stuff. You live around the camper. I love to cook on the campfire. Um, so that goes into the planning. One burner stove, that's it for me. That's all I need. Um, 
do I need a microwave? Well, if you need a microwave, you're probably going to have to run your generator or have a large inverter. Um, large inverters use a lot, you know, require a lot of batteries, so then you need a lot of batteries. If you have a lot of batteries, you're going to need a lot of solar. I don't need that much. I need about 200 watts of solar. I just, my entertainment is very simple. A Chromebook, right? Anymore, you can just use your cell phone. Everything is just five watts or five volts now that you can charge right off the USB. That's fine, you know. My laptop requires 12 volts. The lights and everything will be 12 volts. What do you need? Make a list. Place to do video editing or other, other work. You need that. So then you'll need a chair to go with that. So you, you want to figure out the best situation for you. Now, the bathing situation, you know, the personal hygiene. How are you going to deal with all that? The toilet. How are you going to use the toilet? I've got solutions for that that many of you guys might find, uh, well, this is what we do when we're on the road, okay? It's not like what we do when we're at home, but uh, uh, so get, cut me some slack. Um, figure out a, a good way that's not so unpleasant. I found the experience in the, in the, with the black tanks and the our big RVs, which I've owned. I didn't like it. They stink. Um, you have to dump them. And you're carrying your feces around with you for a while. I don't. I don't like. It. I like to get rid of it right when it happens. <laughs> I don't want. It. I don't want it around. So um, I deal with it immediately. You know, double bag out. You know, uh, out with the trash. So. Other people deal with it differently. Uh, I camped all winter in a bus this past winter in Florida. I was with a group and we always stayed places where there were public toilets. So um, the planning, what do you need? Who's going? You know, figure it out. Sit down with paper, then do your build. All right. Measure things. How much square footage you, you've got. And this is going to be a, 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 a fine build, you'll see. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if you know somebody who would benefit from this video, uh, please, please share it with them. And uh, I need to grow this channel. I like doing this, and so it motivates me when, uh, when I see somebody hit the thumbs up with a like. Thank you.